Hello, my friends. Ooh, I have a hair out of the way. Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another video for you, the best community ever. That's right. You guys are the best community ever. And don't you forget it. Yes, tell your friends. Anyways, my friends, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great as well. And, um, yeah, that's just how things are going. Things are going great. Things are going well. So we got two videos up for today, huh? We got some SOTOR stuff for the uh, Remote Outcast, which is by far in my top five armor sets that I actually really like. And the only one I have not, you know, slapped a die in the moment I got it. <laughs> uh, most ones, uh, even the, um, the, the Conqueror one with the face mask and like the lava coming out of its skin type of thing. Even that one, I'm like, you know what? No, this thing will be, will be good. But I know how this thing will be cooler black on black die and uh it was but yeah so that was a, that was fun i love doing those type of videos where i you know i can pop in get some um cool gear that i think it looks great off the cm and uh, then show you guys and see if you guys get excited over it because yeah this one was this one was pretty darn good yes and there's another one too that i'll get once um some more cartel coins uh flow into the bank that I'll, that I'll get there. They came, it came out alongside this one. I didn't get it. I know Kid Lee was a big fan of it. Uh, but I was going to get that one and do a preview of it. But then I saw you know, the remote outcast. I'm like, ooh, daddy liked this one better. So there's that. So at this moment, my outfit, <laughs> my collections window for armor is substantially growing. Nowhere near so Teresa's or Dolphi's, that's for sure. But... Yeah, my, my closet's getting bigger. I'm going to need a walk-in closet soon, guys. It's going to be great. Then I also put out the Anthem how-to uh, to, you know, track your challenges and or world events that are going on because uh, they don't really tell you how to do that. There's some things in, in the game where you're just like, mm, I really wish you would tell us how to do that or show us. A lot of it's just like, what's this for? Oh, what's that? Oh, hey, look, I found the tracking thing. And to be honest, uh, SOTOR doesn't really do that either. Some things you have to go in and look up uh, how to find, like especially for their achievements within SOTOR and all that jazz right there. And I'm pretty sure World of Warcraft actually does tell you, or I played it for so long I just knew. I don't remember, to be honest with you. So there's that. But yeah, guys, good day today. Uh, I'm... I have another video I have planned for SOTOR coming out tonight, or tomorrow morning, rather, uh, about the outfit designer. For those of you who might not really know about it, I don't know how many there are of that, but, oh, this is mainly for new players and people who are getting in, because new players are getting into the game. And then, I, you know, I want to do another SOTOR video on asking everyone a question about free-to-play, because SOTORista brought up some great points and all that jazz and if you guys really want to know all the hubbub that's going on with the forums about the influencers then yes i guess i'll do a video about it i didn't really want to do a video about it but if you guys want me to done a video will be done for you guys explaining all the fun that happened and uh just you know how <laughs> toxic uh dump heap uh, the forums no matter what game you're on are Except for uh, Star Trek Online. I'm pretty sure it's like the only game to where I think there's like maybe two trolls in the game. And you don't really get much toxic tox toxicity ever in that game. Like, and I wonder why I don't play that game as often. I, ha I mean, there are, some, there are some issues in that game that I'm not a big fan of. Especially when it comes to characters uh, in the game. And just how their animations are done. And how very static those characters are. Whereas the ships are primarily like the main character of of the game. And I get that, but I think they need to show as much love as they do with the ships. Um, or as much love with the characters that they do with the ships. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. But other than that, we'll, we'll talk about all that junk later. And then there's the Rotten Tomatoes controversy going on where they put a poll up and didn't really tell anyone. And then stopped all the comments section below. And then people reporting how, like, oh, these are reviews done by trolls, blah, blah. But they're like, but it's a poll. A poll is not a review. The literal question is, are you interested in seeing Captain Marvel? Yes or no? And overwhelmingly, people said no. 
And, you know, I you know, I know a lot of people, there are going to be people out there going, it's because she's a girl. But like, no, it's not because she's a girl. That's definitely not it. Because if that were the case, then Wonder Woman would have tanked. But Wonder Woman didn't tank. Wonder Woman was actually a very successful movie with a lead female character. What? What? And it all really, it literally comes down to media coverage over everything, uh, comments made by Brie Larson, and that the fact that Brie Larson has, lit, it's kind of, she kind of reminds me of Zoolander in that thing where he has that calendar and every month is the same expression. She has the same expression. She does. I've never really been a big fan of hers because I'm like, there's no expression on your face. It's the same face. I'm not, I don't like that. But it also comes down to, which, you know, is whatever. Everyone has an actor they like and they don't like for, uh, for various reasons. Party on. You might love her. That's great. I'm glad you do. I might, I just don't, is, and I didn't like her before Captain Marvel. So there it is. There's that. Uh, do with that as you will. However, <coughs> I, you know, a lot of it also comes from her comments as well towards the fan base and towards other people. And just, you know, it, it once again goes into that whole uh, thing of, you know, you need to treat your fan base well. Because if you start going after them, calling them names or this, that, or the other thing, and accusing them of things they've never done just because they may not like the movie or you or what have you or might not agree with your comments, uh, don't don't start going after them and accusing them of things because they don't agree with you. And that goes with everything in life. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's like with my review on Anthem, I'm not attacking the other content, well... A little bit. I'm not. Well, I'm not attacking. I'm calling them out on their BS. Uh, but that's not attacking. You know, that's we live in such a society today where you know feelings are paramount compared to truth and facts. And you know, how dare you go against what someone says because uh oh, uh oh, the feeling police are here. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it's just blah. I don't, this, people just, I just need to move to Alaska, get it over with, homestead, and just divorce myself from society, but have the channel at the same time with good internet. I'm just saying, I don't ask for much, uh, that's what I'm asking for right now. I know, that makes no sense, but it is what it is, so yeah. Anyways, that's my thing today. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and uh, hit that like button, because, well, the more likes we get, the easier it is for people to find us, because hashtag the algorithm. And, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button for first time here. And so, words of wisdom. Yeah. Guys, I love you. You guys are amazing. You are literally the best community ever. And I literally would not be here if not for you guys. So share all the th shares. Do all the things. Remember to be kind. It's always about community. And we'll see you later. Good day.